Hey, what's up there YouTubers? Black Xana here and welcome to part 14 of the LEGO Voltron. For this video we are going to finish off Black Lion with his rear legs or better yet the upper thighs of Voltron itself. And of course it's all here in bag number 11. So as usual let's open it up and sort out the parts. And of course, as usual, the little baggy. So, get to that later. So let's sort out this entire mess. Okay, seems we have some four by sixes. Some four by fours. Fourth one in there. All right. And some uh, three by four panels with uh, one by fours on tops. There's a third. Is there a fourth? Uh, maybe if we keep digging. Okay, so there's four of them. And do we have any more? No? Just these two? Hmm. Okay. Just uh, try to arrange things neatly here. Some 2x3 blues. A classic 2x2 two two blue brick. couple of 1x2 classic yellow bricks. Yep, oh, gray panels. There's two, there's three. Any more? Hmm. I'm sure I'll find more throughout this mess. <laughs> Okay, seems we have a bunch of 2x4 gray panels, or gray flats, I should say. Why do I keep getting them mixed up? I will never understand that. I guess that's just, uh, me. There's the other panel. Let's put those with the others. Doesn't want to stack very well. Okay, there's that. Ooh. Some classic 2x3 bricks in a gray color. Was not expecting that. I mean, I've seen uh, bricks like these in red, blue, yellow, white, and black back when I was a child, but in gray? <laughs> it's a new one. Oop. And I'm starting to lose a few here. Okay. Just so that we don't lose these. Ah! More of these little, uh, curved flats, whatever they're supposed to be. They're a bit of a strange little brick. Set that there. Hmm. Seems we have a few uh, hinges. Okay. Don't recall encountering this when I was a kid. <laughs> okay. 
I'll just four of these. I'll just set them right here. Two by sixes. Other half of the hinges. Okay. One by threes. So there's three of them. Is there a fourth? Yes, there is. Okay. Some one by four black bricks with holes in them. I'm guessing these are important. Okay. Goes there. A couple of two by two flat blacks. Yeah, more side panels. Okay, so I had them upside down. I thought they were right side up. <laughs> there we go. Four, five, and six. Hmm. Some telephone covers. Hello, operator. I like to make a long distance call. <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes I just crack myself up. <laughs> okay, so there's seven and eight. Okay. More side panels. These are the right side up ones. Okay. So three. Four. Five and six. All right. One by fours. Seems we have a few connector bricks. Hmm. You know, I'm going to bet that these uh, little connectors go into the blue and yellow lions when they form up Voltron. Hmm. I mean, as so much as I've had a look at the box uh, back in part one, I'm really going to be disappointed that it doesn't going to have any uh, leg articulation. So, <laughs> oh well. It seems we have a few more connectors. Somewhere, I'm gonna be off camera, and of course, finishing off a few uh, curved covers. Oh boy! Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna set these right over here. Yeah. Right in front, so there you all can see them. I know I've had to take in a lot of things off camera, but... <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
Okay. That was just my chair that time. All right. Now, on to this uh, little baggie. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Easy. All right. That's Dauntless. So what do we have for this? A couple of 2x3 black uh, gray flats. Why did I say black? I'm getting colorblind. <laughs> nah, not really. All right, some red half panels. Very strange for this kind of a brick. Right. Ooh, seems we have a, a gold nub. A second gold nub. I don't think I'm going to connect these together. Nope, I'm just going to set them right there. Alright, and... few more half panels in the gray this time. Is there any more? Nope. Alright. Some uh, upside down panels. <laughs> Just put those right there. Some 2x2 two two gray panels with studs on top. Huh, so there's a third one. Can I get a fourth? Yep, there's a fourth. Alright. Make sure that we organize everything. So I don't want to lose anything. And ah! More turquoise! Yeah! I hope I don't have to run into any more turquoises with the red and green when we get there. Especially with the sword and shield. Because this is just insane! <laughs> yeah. No more turquoise! Ah. <laughs> This reviewer has had enough turquoise to last him a lifetime. Yeah. Of course, I'm only kidding. Claws for the paws once more. Alright, so... One by two gray connectors. There. One by two black connectors. Yeah. Well, what do I have here? Some black ingots. Pretty sure they're covers. Okay. I think I have a few curved covers, because I just found one. Is there a second? I know there is. Okay, there's two. Three. And four. Okay, so there's four of them. Some gray connectors. I think they're going to be used for the feet. Let's hope I'm not wrong. Hmm. Slopes. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Some gray brick connectors. Pretty sure connecting to blue and yellow once again. Okay. Gray panels. And four. A whole bunch of one by two gray flats. Mm. Right. There goes that. And for the remainder, it seems we have about let's see, two, nine of these uh, quarter circle parts. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna move these where. And that is it. So now that we have all the uh, parts sorted out, it's uh, time to build, well, the rear legs to Black Lion. So let's get to it. So since uh, both legs are basically symmetrical with one minor uh, difference, uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe to do some double action with this. Alright, so for starters, if I'm looking at this right... Okay, so... Get that off my instructions here. All right, for starters, I'm going to need four side panels. And lay them out like so. I need to look through the book here for a moment. And, okay, I know which ones are going to be which. All right. So to mirror this correctly, I'm also going to need two of the 2x3 gray bricks. Make sure our side panels are well connected. Next, the remaining side panels and a blue two by threes. I'm going to use two of them and place that on, place that on, take that. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't look like much right now. Mm -hmm. Next, I need two of the one by fours. Take one each. As well as two of the red half panels. So, one goes on there. One goes on there. And place them on like so. Okay, so for this, I need a couple of hinges. Like that. Right. Okay. Got one hinge assembled. And two hinge assembled. So, uh, 
goes on the outside. Hmm. Hmm. There goes that. Same on the other. Now we need a little half circle. Put on this one first. Okay. That goes in. Same for the other side. And I'm surprising how much these are mirrored, uh, mirroring each other right now. <laughs> I'm losing my tongue. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Next up, two of our big panels. They're each going to get one. Hmm. It doesn't look like it legs much. Oops. But we'll get there. And I just made a mess of those parts. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Clumsy me. Oops. Okay, assemblies are starting to become off camera, so let's move a few things back. Coming a mess. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, there we go. There we go. Right. So next up I need it two of these gray half panels and two of the one by four black bricks with holes. Put one on there. One over here, like these, to each corner. Make sure I'm not losing anything in the instructions while I go along with this. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, next up, two of these little black parts and oh so that's what gives us our little uh, angle here huh okay that's very ingenious keeps it all locked into place okay let's do it for the other side and give it one of these. Hmm. I suppose it gives it that um, stance for Voltron when you stand him up. Hmm. Okay. Two more of these grays. Each. Go on. Now, what did I do with the two by? No, uh, one by threes. Excuse me. I almost said two by threes. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun with this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alrighty, and now. Need a couple of one by two gray bricks and one by two turquoise. Yeah. You know with the tealy turquoise. Yeah. One goes on there. Same for the other. And then gray goes down here. And a gray there. Does nothing get used to, to fill this space in? No? 
Oh well. I thought something might, but I guess not. Alright. Next up. Need two little connectors. If I can. Yeah. Okay. Need two of these. And our two blacks. One on each side. Uh, things are starting to go off camera now. Connector there. And a connector there. Okay. And four more turquoise. Like that. This is telling me to put these on like so. And same for this. Alright. Okay, so I just set the assemblies down and rearranged a few things just to keep them in the frame. Uh, and of course, just to locate a few other bricks within this entire mess. <laughs> so next up, I need all four of these little black connectors. Alright, there's that. And these go on. Uh, let's see. Now I just need if I, ah, two of these gray brick connectors. Each one is going to go on the ends like so. Right. And now we get to cover them with a few panels. So I'm going to take the 4x4s. Four four cover this all up very nicely. And our remaining four by sixes. Okay. Not quite bulky yet, but yeah, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alright. Now Need all four of the two by sixes. Yeah. Put them on the thighs. Then need four of the two by fours. Oh, wait a minute. Am I sandwiching now? <laughs> oh, no. Anything but the sandwiching. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Two more. Two by three classics. Come on, like so. Turn these about. Our remaining red half panels. And now they each get a little half circle. One there, and one there, okay. Form up the joints. <coughs> one goes 
goes there. Form that up. And one goes there. Take the remaining connector bricks and go on the sides. Remaining gray half panels each at the corners. All right. And I have no doubt they're also going to get some quarter circles. So let's deal with that. Okay. Mm. Remaining two curved black flats. You know, I don't understand why they have the uh, that little cross hole in there. I'm not sure what they're for. Oh well. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to complain. Alright. So, let's see. We send the remaining 2x3s. On they go. Remaining 2x... 1x3. Why am I doing that again? <laughs> If it was up to me, they turned me into a comedian. Okay. Great connectors. Right. And the remaining one by one great connectors. Well, they're almost done. Just about. Now to fill in those holes. So, for one, we're going to be using two of the one by two yellow bricks. Uh, so that's going to indicate where yellow line goes, and then the two by two blue brick going to indicate where blue line goes. Huh. Okay. Didn't expect that. Mm. Remaining turquoise. Set one in my hand. This one gets placed over here. And the other over here. And of course a couple of one by two grays just to match. Okay, now for the upper part, we start to cover them all up. So take the remaining two two by three blues those on. Remaining one by four grays those go on top them off with side panels three four five and six hmm they look chunky now Now for the lower parts, we get to cover them up with these bricks. Our little uh, three by fours with the one by fours on tops. Right. So take those two and cover that up. Take these two and cover that up. Hmm. 
Yeah, those are starting to look like Voltron's thighs now. Yep. Oh. Moving right along. Okay, it seems that I get to flip these two over. And... Okay, I'm going to need some... Uh, two by four panels. I'm sorry, flats. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to lose my words while I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> uh, kill me. No, not really. It was just an expression. Okay, what's going on? Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah. a two by two with a stud on top and two little panels. And of course a couple of upside down panels just to put on the thigh. Almost done. Got plenty of room now. Second of the same as the first. Okay. That goes on. And the side. Pop that on. And the two little panels. Alright. And now we get to cover them all up with curved parts. I need all eight of the upside down curves wow that is really taking shape really really taking shape two there three and four. Oh, this is looking a lot nice. Very nice indeed. And of course, we need one of these gold round nubs. Same for the other. Start with a nub. Some Oop. get in there. Uh, curved panels just to give it that nice smooth finish. Four there, two by four there, a whole bunch of gray slopes, You know, I thought this uh, part would have been much more rounder, but I don't think so. Eh. Doesn't say so in the instructions. Alright. Now you get to cover these up with some gray panels. Okay. There's one for yellow to connect into. And now... There's one for blue to connect into. Oh. All right, those are done. And we're hardly even finished. And yet still some more double action, so we'll take the remaining two 
two by threes a little clause for the paws okay. and looks like we're making some feet remaining one by twos These little nubs. Yep. And just cover that up with some curved panels. Okay, we've got a few feet, but we still have to attach them. Alright, so... Alright, so we have to make four of these little uh, modules. That's one. And there's two oh, do I have them yes I do I have that backwards oops okay. three and four all right now I'm just gonna attach these all on like so nice and flat Uh oh. Oh dear, I seem to have uh, <laughs> made a mistake. Okay, not the end of the world. Let's get our little tool out. Uh, I should have looked at the instructions more carefully. I got ahead of myself. Okay, so. <laughs> I made an oopsie. I made an oopsie. This will just take a minute to figure out. Mm. Come on. Mm. You know what? I'm going to take these off camera and fix them. So just give me one moment. Mm. Yank. Okay, so I'm back, and I've got one of those feet uh, fixed. <laughs> it took some doing for disassembling. Uh, I can't believe I made the mistake without so much as checking twice. Alright, so I'm just going to dump these all out. Alright, so let's try this again. Uh, Okay, those go on, followed by a couple of gray connects. Those on, and some cover panels. Okay, so now that we've got two, and it looks like our black little ingots get used here. Well, it's a black line. What do you expect? Okay, since we have our feet done, now just take the thighs and attach each one. Alright, and that means that the uh, legs for black line are completed. Huh? Won't be needing the instructions anymore. And I've kind of had fun doing all this. And still two lines to go. But now that we have the rear legs done and dealt with, that means we'll take all the modules, bring them right in. So you got the front legs, our little 
big torso here. Bring the camera up a bit. <laughs> and uh, the parts we did back in our previous video. So you got the wings, part of this black line there, tail. Well, there's only one thing I can say to this as I bring in the head and <laughs> two more parts. And as much as I've been waiting to do this, it's time to assemble black line completely. And before I forget, we do have a little spare part. So, so into the baggie it goes. Alright, oh, let's get to this. First I'm gonna move everything to the side because I want the main body. Right. So from here I'm gonna insert this, lock it into place, like this. That locks into place. Ooh, very sturdy. Uh, cover it with this, that little module, alright, uh, let's see, I'm going to take this little wing and slide it right in, oh, seems we had a bit of a popper, okay, there's one, now for the other. Eh! Still been a popper. Stop that. Wow. Okay. Fold in the wings. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna attach the tail. Curve it up. Take one of the legs. Got these three connectors and your holes. So put in like so. And I'll adjust the seat in a moment. Uh, he is going to be a big boy. Alright. There it goes. That. Plug in one front leg okay, and since I have that in I'll adjust one of the rear paws Put the other front leg in, and yeah, he's definitely going to be big. I'm going to raise the camera here. <laughs> okay, and finally, attach the head. And wow! Black Lion is one big cat. I mean, acting as the main body for Black Lion... I mean, I'm sorry... For Voltron? <laughs> well, he certainly takes the cake. <laughs> so, let's see. What kind of articulations uh, does a black line have? Well, he does have a swivel head joint. He can make his mouth open and close like he's doing a roar, but it also holds the... Uh, face for Voltron, so I don't know how you're going to get that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wings? Yeah, you could probably fold them out if you uh, want them to fly at some sort of an angle. I mean, it's uh, really up to you. Uh, you can move his... Uh, paws and legs, but not so much for the uh, connection parts, and I'm hearing a truck in the background, so 
Uh, garbage is being collected. I should have closed those windows. Oh well. Not gonna argue. Not going to argue. I can argue if you want. <laughs> but no. Uh, I wish you could move the uh, back legs, but um, if you try to do that, it wouldn't do uh, you much any good. Those connectors hold it in quite firmly. You can move the tail, though. Well, all I can say is that I love this line here. So, whoop, and it seems the head just popped off. I should work on fixing that. <laughs> okay, back on you go. Okay, so now the black line is complete and the legs are done. Thanks for joining me in uh, part 14 uh, where we uh, completed black line. Join me next time when we deal with... Uh, oh, let me see here. Is that... Yep, red line's next, so that'd be part 15. I don't know how far that's going to get. So, join me next time... We'll, when we deal with the red line of the Lego Voltron, I have the right arm to build. <laughs> eh, eh, well, who am I kidding? Anyway, don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you want. And this is Black Xana saying it tower deactivated. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't. And I will see you all until next time. Bye.